Who would have guessed that a new year of Don't Starve Together content would begin with a snooze fest? Literally, the year of the bunny man is here, everyone, and is simultaneously the stupidest yet funniest event we have ever had, while casually changing the game forever. If we let it, of course. And to do that, we'll be needing to construct the bunny man shrine in all of its buck tooth glory here. But as always with these year of events, that's only step one. Be sure to offer your shrine a carrot to not only unlock a huge collection of fresh foods, decor, and then some, but to also kick off the slumber party with our hippity hoppity friends from down under. And don't worry any Weber and or Wartox players out there, as terrifying as their emergence actually is, these guys are completely non-hostile to us. Heck, I even tried to kill him myself just to see what would happen, and to my surprise, it's nearly impossible to do so. Everything seems to deal but one damage to them, and even though they do retreat from dangers, they will burrow right back up in no time like nothing ever happened. So I guess we're all friends and not food, no matter what. But what's the deal with our new pal's beard? Well, like most other bunnymen, these guys are far more active come dusk and beyond. Very much unlike many other bunnymen, however, these guys play games and smack each other upside the head with pillows all night long. Now, I can't seem to find anything else happening, really, but this spin the carrot game that happens all the bloody time does result in quote-unquote loot at the end of the day. Most of the time, the game is going to have a random winner, and their reward is puke. No, not kidding. Thing is, though, by pure chance, I believe, mind you, we too can quote-unquote win these hairball things that don't seem to do or go into anything as far as I can tell. No crockpots either. It's more a natural version of wet goop, essentially. But we ourselves can also spin carrots during this event, but again, as far as I can tell, it does nothing. Nothing but pointing in the direction that they do land in, so do with that as you please. I was also able to give a carrot or two to a bunny man to force these games. However, that seemed very finicky, as I was only able to do it once, so I'm not entirely sure if it was intended overall. And lastly, if you do steal a carrot during any of this, they will go a bit crazy, but once more, I wouldn't expect any danger from any of them. Yeah, it's kinda weird if I'm honest. Which is exactly why we're gonna focus on the good stuff. The pillow fights. Once unlocked, the first 10 crafts should be of note, as they will be what makes up the bulk of the event's content, from fighting arenas to new armor pieces. Craft an arena, place it wherever you please as I don't think proximity matters, and once you're ready, these gloves of challenge that you can also make await your choice of victim. Give one away, and your challenger will wait you in the arena eventually, and all you have to do is ring the bell, and the bout will begin. Now it's very simple and very straightforward. Don't get knocked out of the circle while trying to do the exact opposite to others. But if you're struggling like I did, then chances are you're missing some fluffy armor here. Once more, we can expect all sorts of varying crafts with the best of both sets of gear requiring any Yukis for Pete's sake. But I found that the second to last tier of pillows, a tier that requires mere beef loafer, mind you, to suffice just fine against groups all the same, so I wouldn't really worry about it. Besides, it's all for fun and it's very easy to win, as all you need to do is be the last one standing. And yes, we can indeed challenge all eight bunnymen at once, and no, it's still not difficult to come out on top each and every time for super easy piles of the usual reward from these year of events, lucky gold nuggets. But before we do discuss what we can spend them on this time around, just note that we can smack pretty much anything with these pillows to no avail, including mobs and bosses outside of these slumber parties. It would have been funny if there was a bit of a knockback or stun mechanic to them, however, but hey, what can you do? To continue then, eight additional new crafts await, and let me tell you folks, they are insanely good for how cheap they all are. Mostly the food and lights, that is. We've now got bunny rolls that will restore 75 hunger, 8.25 sanity, and 15 health a pop. Moon cakes will offer us 18.75 hunger, 8.25 sanity, and a whopping 60 health each delicious bite. Moon jelly will slide down our bellies for 18.75 hunger once again, while granting 33 sanity and 15 health a munch. And finally, skewered puffs are the best of all worlds, essentially, at 37.5 hunger, 16.5 sanity, and 30 health each. Folks, these are all but one lucky nugget each. 
Oh yes, the food game just changed again if we keep this event on from here on out. But it's not just food alone, actually. Fork over five nuggets, and you will not only get a new decor item, but a refuelable light source or two as well. They ain't portable, sure, but they're cooler looking than fires at the end of the day. But to wrap up, nightcaps are next, and while I was thinking they were gonna be pretty darn neat and tie into something related to sleeping, unfortunately, I don't think they do nothing while top our noggins. They're just there to make us fit in with our bunnymen friends, apparently. And that's a shame, because I'm sensing a prime opportunity to have these things impact the efficiency of sleep temporarily. But finally, we do also have three new bunny stats statues here, so enjoy it all regardless. Oh, but don't forget any of the classic Year of Crafts either, like the returning and highly portable, long-lasting, but non-refuelable red lanterns here, the always lovely water-based floating lanterns that will swim around randomly for about six days, the very noisy firecrackers to help celebrate the festivities, sure, but they will also panic mobs, mind you, and of course, the lucky beast costumes and their sanity dancing. No, not kidding. Dance with one of these on for a sanity regeneration effect as seen here. But get three people to dance with three separate of these costumes, and all three can receive a plus 20 sanity per minute gain as well, which is absolutely ridiculous and should be taken advantage of immediately. Especially considering that I'm done blabbering on here, so the only thing left to do is go experience the content yourself. And yes, believe it or not everyone, that was already everything I could find on the first update of 2023, the Year of the Rabbits. Well, minus these new skins and the server nonsense from the other day, that is. So expect showcases on them soon, alongside a roadmap overview in the coming weeks. But thanks for watching, well wishes to all, don't fall asleep first, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.